Hello everyone, welcome to Payment Tech Media. In this video, you are going to learn how to convert an octo number to a hexadecimal number. So as previously we talked about, octo number is base 8 system and hexadecimal number is base 16 system. In octo number, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. That's total of 8 different numbers including 0. And in hexadecimal, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, and F. And that's a total of 16 different numbers, including 0. And to keep the single digit in hexadecimal, here we can see they used A, B, C, D, E, F. A hexadecimal is equivalence to 10 in decimal number B 11 C 12 and so on. Another thing that it is important to keep in mind is regarding the octo number that we have 3 bits per octo number and we have 4 bits per hexadecimal number. Let's see why. So first let's take a look at octo number. So in octo number if this is our octo number binary and decimal. So I mentioned we have three bits for octo number and the decimal values one, two, four. Where they're coming from? Two to the power of bit position. This is bit position zero, bit position one, bit position two, and two is the base because of the binary we have zero and one. Two to the power of zero, it's one, two to the power of one is two, two to the power of two is four. Now let's take a look at octo number, the range zero to seven that covers all the octo numbers. So 0 to 7. For 0, it's pretty much all the 3 bits turned off, decimal value is 0. For 7, all the bits turned on, decimal value is 7. So here we can see 3 bits covers all these numbers. Now depending on the octo value, for example, let's say 5. For 5, we have 4 and 1 turned on. And decimal value is 5. So here we can see for every octal number we have 3 bits. Now depending on the value of the octal, some of the bits being turned on, some of them being turned off. But again, for every octal number we have 3 bits. Now let's take a look at hexadecimal number. Why we have 4 bits for every hex. So if this is our hex number, binary, and decimal. Let's put the 4 bits. And decimal values, 1, 2, 4, 8. Again, you know where they're coming from. Base in the binary is 2 to the power of bit position. This is bit position 0, bit position 1, bit position 2, and bit position 3. 2 to the power of bit position and gives us these decimal values. So in hexadecimal, for every hex, we have 4 bits. Now let's take a look at the range going from 0 to F. So if this is 0 and if this is F. For 0, 4 bits turned off, decimal is 0, for f, f is equivalent to 15, so 8 plus 4, that's 12, plus 2, that's 14, plus 1, that's 15, and decimal value of 15. Now let's say 5, 8 is off, 4 on, 2 off, 1 on, so 4 plus 1, that's 5. And let's say c, which is equivalent to 12 in decimal number, so 8, plus 4, that's 12. Therefore, here we can see for any hexadecimal number, we have 4 bits. Now, depending on the number, some of them being turned on, some of the bits being turned off. For example, for 5, we have 0, 1, 0, 1. For F, all of them turned on. For 0, all of them turned off. So, just keep in mind, for every octo number, we have 3 bits. And for every hexadecimal number, we have 4 bits. And here we can see why. Now let's go ahead and convert one octo number to hexadecimal number. Let's say we have octo number of 2, 5, 7, 1, and we want to convert it to hexadecimal. So what do we have to do first? We have to separate them 2, 5, 7, and 1. This is octo number. So for every octo, we have 3 bits. And putting the decimal values, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4. Now in order to get 2, which one do we have to turn on? Only 2, right? 
in order to get 5, which one do we have to turn on? 4 plus 1, right? So 4 turned on and 1 turned on. It gives us 5. For 7, all of them turned on. For 1, only 1 turned on. So now here we have our binary number. Let's put the binaries together. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. What we need to do next, we need to count right to left every 4 and separate. Why every 4? Because we are going to hexadecimal number, right? Converting this binary to hexadecimal. And we talked about earlier, for every hexadecimal, we have 4 bits. So we have to count right to left every 4 and separate. 1, 2, 3, 4, separate, 1, 2, 3, 4, separate, 1, 2, 3, 4, and separate. Now let's put the decimal values. 1, 2, 4, 8. 1, 2, 4, 8. 1, 2, 4, 8. Now you might say why earlier we had 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, and here we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 1, 2, 4, 8. The earlier, this was our octa number. And for every octo, we have 3 bits. So the decimal values goes 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4. Now when we get the binary and we want to convert it to a hexadecimal, so we have to count every 4 because every hex we have 4 bits. So right to left counting every 4 and separate and then putting decimal values is 1, 2, 4, 8, 1, 2, 4, 8, 1, 2, 4, 8. Okay, so here we can see 4 and 1 turned on, 4 plus 1 is 5 and here we can see 4, 2 and 1 it's turned on. 4 plus 2, 6 plus 1, 7. And here we can see 8 and 1 turned on, which is 9. Just remember, if we had any number that is larger than 9, we need to put the hexadecimal format. For example, if it was 12, we need to put C. But because here we have only 8 turned on and 1 turned on, I put 9. So, octal number of 2571 is equivalent to... 579 hexadecimal format. Now let's take a look using calculator. So we want to change the view from standard view to programmer view and we want to make sure octo is selected and entering 2571. And as soon as I selected the octo, you probably noticed we have only 0 to 7 available. 8 and 9 is grayed out because octo numbers are 0 to 7. So let's enter 2571. 2 5, 7, 1. So octo of 2571 is equivalent to 579 in hexadecimal. Let's go over another example. Let's say they give us octo number of 773 and we want to convert it to hexadecimal. You can pause this video and answer the question and come back to this video and double check your answer. Okay, so what we have to do first, separate them 773. Seven, this is the octo number. As we mentioned, for every octo number, we have three bits. And putting the decimal values, one, two, four, one, two, four. For seven, all of them turned on. This one, seven, four plus two, six plus one is seven. And for this one, three, two and one turned on. So this is our binary. Let's put the binary here. Now we need to count right to left every 4 and separate. Why 4? Because this is our binary and we want to convert it to hexadecimal. And every hexadecimal we have 4 bits. So let's count right to left every 4 and separate. 1, 2, 3, 4. Separate. 1, 2, 3, 4. Separate. And here you see we have only 1. So we had probably 3 zeros to the left and again zeros to the left doesn't count so that's why we are counting right to left because there might be zeros to the left now let's put the decimal values 1 2 4 8 1 2 4 8 1 2 4 8 in this group only one turned on so this is one and in this group all of them turned on 8 plus 4 that's 12 plus 2 that's 14 plus 1 that's 15 and what is 15 in hexadecimal? As we can see here, 15 is F. So let's put F here. And in this group, as we can see, we have 8 turned on plus 2, that's 10, plus 1, that's 11. What is 11 in hexadecimal is B, as we can see here. So let's write B here. 
Therefore, octal number of 773 is equivalent to 1FB hexadecimal number. Let's take a look using calculator. So changing standard view to programmer view. And we want to make sure octa is selected. Entering our octa number here, 773. And here we can see for the hexadecimal 1FB. As we can see here, 1FB. And these numbers sometimes we might see as 7738 subscript telling us this is base 8 system, that's an OXO system, and 1FB16, subscript 16, telling us this number is base 16 system, is a hexadecimal system. Or in the hexadecimal also, sometimes we might see 0x, 1FB, and this 0x is just a prefix telling us the following number is hexadecimal number. This was a quick overview of how to convert an octal number to hexadecimal number. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up. And to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks again and have a good day.